Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom and the And the glory Yes, Lord Yes In the name of Jesus Amen Amen Thank you, Jesus. Have your way in our lives. We leave this prayer before your throne right now, here, in full faith that it shall be done. In your holy name, the Lamb of God, the Word made flesh, Emmanuel, God with us, the one whom the Holy Book of Isaiah prophesied, the one whom Jeremiah prophesied, the one whom David was talking about. The one whom the Lord said will stomp the devil out with his heel. Hmm. Christ Jesus of Nazareth, Mary's baby, Joseph's baby, the Son of God, the Word made flesh. Yeshua HaMashiach. The beginning and the end, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the High and Exalted One, the One that died and rose from the dead for His people and all whom believe. The One who's coming back in the clouds, the One whom the Holy Book of Revelation is unfolding to come into the world right now. To take us back and to set the wrong things right. To bring justice, Revelation, peace and prosperity in our hearts forevermore, we pray. In the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Chapel. I love you. That means peace on Sabbath. Many people get caught up. Well, Sabbath is this day. Sabbath is that day. Well, honestly, in the Holy Book, if you want to go back and forth, you can. Not with me, because I'm just going to say what the Lord says. It's in the Bible. The Holy Sabbath was on the last day. I'm sorry, the, the, um, I, please forgive me. The first day of the week is Sunday. The last day of the week is Saturday. Sabbath was on the last day of the week, which is, I'm sorry. 
he hallowed the Sabbath on the last day. So that way we could know that we rest in him. Jesus, however, is our Sabbath. So we no longer just pick one day that the Lord chose. And he did put it in the commandments to hallow it. Every day is Sabbath for us. Every day. Because we rest in Jesus. Because we are free. Every day. Holy Book of Romans chapter 8 verse 36. Who is it Romans? I hope I didn't say it wrong. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. So Sabbath in biblical days. It began at the sunset of Friday evening. They crucified Christ. On a Friday right? So Saturday, because it is Sabbath, the women couldn't go and do the rituals on the body. Which is why they couldn't go till Sunday, the first day of the week. So when we obey the Lord and to hollow the Sabbath and to keep it holy is to keep him in it, not to take God out. Is to remember that he wants us to rest in him because that's where your rejuvenation comes from. Sabbath wasn't made, man wasn't made for Sabbath. Sabbath was made for man. In other words, we use it for our liking and for our benefit, not the other way around. Not to point finger and say, you oughta, you oughta. It's for us to know, I need to rest my thoughts, my mind. I need to get rid of this fear once and for all. I need to be at peace. And this is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. So Sabbath is for us to be reconnected in the reality of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the one whom was prophesied well long before he came into the earth. The one who was doing miracles well before he came into the earth. The one who was the fourth man in the fire with Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego. And then there was Jesus, the number one. So we rest in him knowing that he is the number one. And we need him always, not just on one day. But however, since he woke me up four years ago and told me this was Sabbath, I've always made it a point to do even more to put him into my day. And he blesses it. There is a peace on Sabbath that I can't explain and I'm not trying to explain because I want you to see it for yourself and feel it. It's a feeling for yourself and only God can do that. He will bless you by blessing him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We're going to read the holy book of Psalm chapter 92, which is a psalm and song for Sabbath. Our psalm, our song for Sabbath. We're not going to sing it today, but we're going to read it together as a family the holy book of psalm chapter 92 i read from the king james version and whatever translation the lord leads you to excuse me read it with me the holy book of psalm chapter excuse me 92 and it reads it is a good thing to give thanks unto the lord and to sing praises unto thy name o most high to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery and upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will try, we will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. Yes, they are. A brutish man knoweth not. Neither does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Amen. Wake up and be encouraged. This is my favorite. I say this every day. One of my favorite anchor scriptures. Verse 8 says, and he always do something when I say it. I'm going to look up when I say it. See what he's going to do. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. Mm -mm -mm. And then the, the, <laughs> then the breeze. He always. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. It is a revelation. It's peace. It is power when you humble yourself and say, I am nothing. You are everything. You are most high 
forevermore is when you realize you are safe because he's going to coddle you and let you know I am most high and you are mine which makes you set upon higher than your enemies he sets you up mm. Mm. Verse 9 For hallelujah For lo thine enemies O Lord For lo thine enemies shall perish All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered But mine horn shall thou exalt Like the horn of a unicorn I shall be anointed with fresh oil Unicorns are not little white and pink and blue and yellow Beautiful colored and animated little are horses with steeples on the horns or whatever. No if you study it, a unicorn, a unicorn is in the Bible. The unicorn is a very, 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 very huge beast. Probably way bigger than a rhinoceros. I don't know if it was that of like a dinosaur or whatever. Or whatever y'all want to call it. But the Bible calls it a unicorn. And if you really search it out, these things could not. This beast could not be tamed. This beast was wild. This beast was not something you can walk up and say i'm about to tame you no 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 and in fact when it says he gives you he's going to anoint your head like that of a unicorn the horn of a unicorn the horn that was on the top of the unicorn like i guess i don't know if it looked like a ram i don't know if it looked like you know whatever has horns this beast had a horn you wouldn't just gonna walk up on this big bad boy and say oh i'm about to take your horn like they do the tusk of an elephant now like they do other things no 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 no. you couldn't just do that so when the lord says he anoints you with the horn like the horn of a unicorn he's telling you untouchable ferocious big bad and indestructible is thou in the hand of the lord no matter what you feel like you read it. We read it, right? God's word is true, right? Man cannot live by bread alone, right? But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, right? All right. Let's hurry up. We don't have a lot of time. Verse 11. Mine eyes shall also see my desire on my enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. For those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. That's right, baby. You're going to be fresh. The Lord said it. In old age. Hmm. I claim it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And for you too. Hallelujah. 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 And they shall be fat and flourishing. That means green and giving fruit. There's a fig tree right here. And I'm about to pull one of these fig figs off. It's ready. I think another one is ready too. At the end, I'm going to pull it off and maybe show you on camera if the Lord reminds me to do that. And um, just know that the Lord says here, you stay with him. You're going to be fat and flourishes, flourishing. Sister Chapel says, I believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Touching and agreeing with your prayer partner makes things happen. Touching and agreeing with your prayer partner. Makes things happen. Yes, they do. Not because of me and her, but because of you, Lord. That's what he said. Hmm. And the last verse says, to show that the Lord is upright. Yes, he is. He is my rock. And there is no unrighteousness in him. Mm, yes, Lord. There is no unrighteousness in him. And now, verse, I'm sorry, Psalm 93, which is only five verses, but I always follow up with that one when I read Psalm 92, especially on Sabbath, Shabbat. And it says, the Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also established that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves the lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters yeah than the mighty waves of the sea that's big ain't it hmm. many waters come on thy testimonies are very sure holiness becoming thine house forevermore O oh lord forever in the name of yeshua hamashiach amen if you ever need a friend that sticks closer than any brother, 
I recommend Jesus, sweet Jesus, because I know personally, he's that kind of friend. You know what? (laughs) One of my favorite things to know about him, he will never He will never leave you. Listen. Even though he knows everything about you. Yes, he do. He won't throw you away like the others. I recommend Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Because he's that kind of friend he'll walk right in front of you to always protect you so the devil can do you no harm if in your heart you let him be Truly, love will begin because give Jesus your life. He's that kind of friend. He's that kind of friend. He's that kind a friend he's that kind of friend yes he is shabbat shalom to you and your family and your household and in closing may the lord bless us and keep us and make his face to shine upon us and to be gracious unto us may the lord lift up his countenance upon us His sweet, sweet, sweet countenance upon us and give us peace in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior. He pray, we pray, because God, Jesus prays for us. Amen and amen and amen again and amen again. The Lord says, if you... If you want to do what he did to that fig tree, if you want to know about it, go read about it. He said... Believe and don't doubt and it shall be done. He said, if you believe with all your heart and soul and tell this mountain to remove itself and to cast itself into the sea, it shall be done. As long as you put it in the name of Jesus. If you got a prayer partner, put it in the name of Jesus with them. And if you don't, put it in the name of Jesus with him. Your best prayer partner is him. He's with you. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to show you this fig tree. And I'm going to say have a blessed and beautiful Shabbat. Spend time with your family. And if you don't have no physical family, spend time with the Lord who is your true and living family. Have a beautiful day. I love you, Sister Chapel, and everyone else out there. Bye-bye. Let me, um, let me show you this fig tree. Clean it. That's what I'm talking about. That's called sweetness. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yeah, yes, Lord. Yes. <laughs>